find no place to be, no one's waiting for me. This weekend, I'm gonna try making my own food, cooking my own food more because ever since I started working, I find myself depending on food delivery services a lot and that is not very good. I made myself warm broth soup. I've been drinking this every single morning because I've been recovering from a wisdom teeth surgery. Now my stomach is filled, I wanna make my breakfast. I'm making geram madi. I made a mess. It's so pretty. I couldn't believe I made this. Mm. I'm gonna add a little bit of Japanese mayo. Come on, don't embarrass me. Okay. Mayo. Mmm, so good. but I think it will be much better if it's a real ramen, the unhealthy kind of ramen. Mm. Mm. After my lunch, I kind of feel like eating something cold, so I have my frozen blueberries here. I'm gonna finish it. It's almost finishing though. <laughs> I just changed out my contact lenses and put on my glasses because my newly opened contact lenses, I just opened it yesterday. One side of it just magically disappeared. I couldn't find it anywhere. Steam it for an hour and I think it's ready. It's a bit hot. So. Wow! So I've been trying to improve my gut health naturally. One of the ways is eating steamed fruits. So this is actually my first time eating fruits steamed. It is something new but I'm open to try. Steamed apples is good for gut. You can even steam bananas but today I'm trying this Korean steamed pear. It's a very foreign texture but it's good. I'm making something that I really like. I've eaten at a Korean restaurant once and then I cannot stop thinking about it. It is just so good. And the reason why I didn't order for the second time is because it's a little bit expensive. So today I'm making it. It looks like this. It is actually a Korean rice ball. It is not in the shape of a rice ball because when I ordered it, I'm supposed to roll it myself, but I prefer not to. Instead of using sushi rice, I'm using basmati rice. Just a healthy option. Instead of cooking my rice in the rice cooker, I'm steaming my rice in the pot because it's just a little bit of rice so I don't want to use the rice cooker. Fried anchovies. Wait, it is not fried. This is raw. Because fried was much more expensive so... The spam I bought is less sodium and in my opinion it is too bland so adding some soy sauce. And my anchovies is ready. My baking shit is burned. I need to be careful next time. Mm. Oh. I added my personal favorite, natto, and then spam. OG K Fry Rice Ball has a lot of mayonnaise on it. Because of that, I bought a new Q Pie mayonnaise that has zero sugar and half calories. And I'm using this without guilt. A little bit of sesame oil. This is my attempt at replicating K Fry's rice ball. I'm gonna mix everything together first. Gosh, my food is getting everywhere. Mmm. I have a 
are really weak guts so I don't tolerate noodles very well because most of the time they have wheat in it. I've been missing my noodles so badly so I've been exploring noodles option that my gut can tolerate better. So the other day when I was shopping I saw this Korean sweet potato noodles so I decided to give it a try. I'm making japchae for my dinner tonight. <laughs> Mushrooms were not enough, but surprisingly, it is quite a big amount when I cut it out. I couldn't even grab all of it at once. Cooking the noodles now, but I don't know how much I need it. If I cook pasta, it'll be this much. A little bit of oyster sauce just because I feel like it. Oops. Sesame oil for the fragrance. My choice of protein today is beef. I'm now sitting down because I'm just so excited to eat this right away. Here, right here. So I got a chair. I can't do this sitting down. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, take a photo, but let me try this first. Mmm, so good. Oh my god. Mm. It's just a little too hot. Let's just wait. Okay, let's be patient. This japchae is definitely teaching me patience. Guys, it smells so good. Another mouthful doesn't hurt. Oh! It hurts. I love the texture of the noodle, how chewy it is, how slippery it is, slipping around my mouth. my fingers on two different occasions today and also the day before yesterday do you see that and the cut that i got the day before yesterday is actually recovering it's here this is day three i only intended to film this and cook for myself over the weekend but i shopped too much i have a lot of leftover ingredients in my fridge so i guess we're still in the game and for my breakfast today i am making a bak chuk I'm gonna let it simmer later. It should be fine for another cup of water. A little bit of honey. I got some glutinous rice flour. I'm gonna make my glutinous rice flour slurry. Try eating it with a piece of sourdough. Dip, dip. Mmm, so good. Oh my god, love this. Mmm, sweet and sour. Mmm, I never eaten a bread so fast. It's only five something, but I'm so hungry. I didn't actually eat my lunch. My breakfast eventually became my lunch because the thing with eating something liquid is that it gives you a false sense of fullness, and you thought you're full, but it was actually just uh, liquid messing with your gut and stuff. I'm making bibimbap, and if you hear anything in the background, that is because I am steaming my rice. <laughs> I haven't been eating eggs for almost a month now. That explains why I'm so terrible at cracking eggs. I used to be so good at it. I can crack an egg using just one hand and I can crack two eggs at the same time with a perfect sunny side up. Let's make it symmetrical. Section it into four. I tried my best to put it right here. Okay, my bibimbap is ready. This is so pretty. I don't want to ruin it, but I'm very hungry. I should have gotten a bigger bowl. I may have forgotten gochujang is spicy and so good though. I can just slowly finish this. Look at that. This is such a large portion. I think I might have leftover. Mm. I don't 
single ones asking, no one's worrying. But don't worry, I didn't finish my bibimbap in one sitting. I have a lot of leftover. After all my leftover is cleared up, I'm making something light. So we are making sundubu. I'm gonna try my best to keep things simple today. And I won't be chopping anything. <laughs> too spicy again looking at the color this is it mm. that's only need water after one whole week of making my own food i feel like rewarding myself today so i'm eating at this korean restaurant that i saw online This is the main character of bone soup, cream sauce, chili sauce and garlic, radish kimchi. I don't know if I can finish this, but this is very thick. Come to the end of this video. I hope you enjoy, and I will see you in the next one. <laughs> I'm on the way to my hoop class, by the way. Mm -hmm.